Hey guys, it's another video. Today, I am back with another Minecraft video. Now today, is actually a very special video. Okay, this is my little torch. It's okay. Oops. And... Oops. No. Oops. No. Not the dark. The other one. Not for it. And even... I hate this so much. Alright, anyway. So today is actually a very special day. Let me tell you why. So today is actually, you know, today or tomorrow, week of, whenever, is a very special day because this is me and my girlfriend's anniversary, and this is my present to her. So what I'm going to be doing today, and first of all, let me tell you what's going on, because most of you probably don't follow my socials, which by the way, if you haven't, what are you doing today, first of all, second of all, there are links below and even in my homepage my channel homepage that I have the links. Anyway, without further ado, let me tell you all what's going on. <clears throat> so on those socials, I had asked people what platform they want me to record this video on. And I kind of did an oopsie and didn't set the time right because I was doing it on a computer. Damn. Yeah, so there's that. So then I asked my girlfriend, and at first she didn't want to, you know, spoil anything, but I told her she wouldn't be spoiling anything, so she said PC. So, here we are, an organized PC Minecraft, about to build something I've been anticipating for quite a while. Now, for this build, let's just at least get it started off. That's what I mainly want to start this off with, just start it off with some TNT, and... What? What's the plant? Fire. I need fire. There it is. Today, we're going to be making the fucking vampire lair. That's right. Something you never thought would be coming true is happening. You know why? I'll tell you why. So me and my girlfriend have this thing going on, like, you know, the whole vampires versus werewolves. Yeah. We decided she's the vampire, I'm the werewolf. So I want this to be her vampire lair. You know? So I'll work on the entrance last, but I know I've got a lot of digging and a lot of filling in to do. And that's gonna be first priority before I even put anything in there. So without further ado, I present to you my new original single, Ultra Love. And what steals it, I'll fucking kill you. I fucking knew it. I know where you're going. Three, two, one, and. so real and you see she's for me when her love can feel so free i believe oh baby it's the ultra love <laughs> Oh, baby, it's the... That oh, baby, it's the... 
So that's done. Um, if you didn't get to hear the whole song, my apologies. Or if I actually added a whole new song, again, my apologies. Uh, I think you guys have a double feature out of it, if you did. I don't know what I'm experiencing when I'm editing yet. But here's the base of what I'm going to go along here. And I'm actually going to take out my supplies as I go along. And see what I'm doing. So this woman is like my queen of darkness. So what I'm going to do first is get and get her the dark wood planks as well as some dark oak fence. Actually, no, that'll match well with another brick. First thing I'm going to do is oh. I almost forgot one key thing. Where is the stairs? Some nether brick stairs, because she does like her nether. She does like the underworld. I will make like a little outlet here, just to walk down, at least a little bit. Otherwise, you're dealing with a lot of nonsense. And we can't have that. I'm thinking it's gonna go somewhere around there. I will have a sort of platform going here though, because I think this can be her sort of fountain area, pool, whatever the hell she wants to do with it. It does cross over into another cave part though, so I figured that can that might as well be hers. Like each part of this place could be like a different room. But if I was gonna sit here and do all of the ideas I had, I'd be her for at least an entire day. Because I have so many plans for this place. I'm what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm just gonna get the place started. Like I see basically what I wanna do. And I'm gonna give her the beat the base essential. So a, a source of food. Um probably make her a little animal farm, then I guess she loves animals, so that's kind of an affliction. I'll probably just make her like feed all villagers or something. Give her like a little pool of water. Pretend it's blood. Fill with the blood of our enemies. Uh, I'm gonna give her a place to sleep. And that'll be in her little bedroom here. It doesn't need to be too big because her place of sleep will, you know, it's a coffin. We'll be standing up. I'm thinking about putting it in that wall a little right there. She said before, like, she likes jumping down. We were on the server, and she said something about she finds jumping down a whole lot. So, I'm going to make it even better. I'm only going to cover ground through the center where it's necessary for a stairwell. Okay. Now, first of all, I'm going to make it easy enough to get from floor to floor. I'll make it sort of like a tightrope plank because the thing with vampires, most of them anyway, the better ones, they're very fast, nimble, very late on their feet. So it would only be right to make a like weird situation. As far as that goes, this is going to be weird because this is going to be a stairwell. But it's gonna be designed like I want to say commonly. But I don't feel like commonly is the word. Not quite anyway. If you really actually were enjoying that meh song that I had you guys listening to, don't worry, you'll get the entire song in the end of the video. I promise. I should just say she likes jumping down it as well, so I'm actually going to take out all of this, increase the danger factor a little bit, and instead, give her a slime block. She's very serious, but she also has a lot of her fun moments. Oh god, that spiral staircases. Oh my god, she's gonna freaking love this. It really is kind of a fun drop, I'm not going to lie. Whee! Honestly, I find it funny 
them spending this much time with their stairwell. That's just kind of proving how fun I'm making it. So we have the stairwell. Yes, the stairwell. One thing she does like a lot is creepers. She also seems to like the llamas for some reason. She just likes animals. It's just interesting trying to make this video based off of her. Uh, golly, I haven't gotten even halfway through this yet. I am slowly slacking. One mob she likes, though. And this is why she doesn't need any security doors. Like I was going to put in, but I figured, why? Why put in the doors? She's going to have lots of her friends roaming this place. Like, I mean, actually roaming this place. I'm going to spawn them in one spot, and they're just going to do nothing but roam around. This is not going to be enough to have a portal. But that's why this is not going to be the portal. This is going to be her coffin sleeping quarters. And of course, because I got to adapt it for actual humanizing. Black bed. When you think about it, it's like a door. Almost. And she'll sleep here. Whatever, I don't care. And she'll sleep there. And great things will happen. And see, I can't be mad when I drop down. I think I'll keep a nice little 3x3 area for that. Give them a chest with plenty of TNT so they don't get hungry. I just got a couple of creeper friends in there just in case some of them despawn or go missing. But otherwise, here's what we're dealing with. Oh my god, they've already got to our room. Get out! Get out of here! Out of here! This is gonna be made special. Out. Out, 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 out. Thank you. Hey, you see this? You see this? Don't you even fucking think don't you even fucking think about it. This is off limits. Sorry guys. I know Sarah would love to have you guys come in here. I'm gonna make this room nice and special. I will give her a little portal, though. Because she does like the nether a lot. Cozy. Here, I'll make sure you guys are well fed. I'll put a few stacks in there for him. you guys get hungry. Right, let me go through the checklist, because I don't technically need security since we have a fuck ton of grapers. And lots of insurance. Okay. So you come in, you have this little gate that's actually made very nice. You come over here to this like tight ropeish area. Come directly over here to the creeper pen. I think I'll make like a sort of hangout area over here too. down the stairs, or down the stairs, and you can go into the first sort of, like, I guess you could say, living room area or something. Like I said, if I was going to go through literally everything I had planned for this place, I'd probably honestly be here for fucking ever, because this is, like, this is something I've been meaning to do for. Who says vampires can't be witches too? 
so that is where I am going to make the arrangements to be a vampire, but also a witch. Now we have our enchantment table and anvil in place, as well as the rest of the bookshelves. Now it's just time to do the simple last wiring. I will be recording this part just so I can show you how it's done if you know you're a noob to Minecraft still and you need to teach you how it's done. So you can do it like this and have have a spot be up here and then close that up. I think I remember how I wanted to do it. And that's why that's like that. Okay. I was almost gonna say I fucked it up. But then I'm like, oh wait, no, I know what I'm doing. That's right. I actually do know what I'm doing. really tricky because you really have to get in there. That's where that comes into play. And let's check one. Check two. I will put a repeater just to be safe, but I shouldn't need it. It's just as a precautionary to make sure the signal stays strong and whatever. Alright, let's try it. Over here, three, two, one. That's actually perfect. Damn. And here's what I'll do to make sure it stays like this and stays looking neat. Avoid any possible conflict. There you go, the wire in there. And when you want to deactivate it, just. And it should still be 30. So I'll go to Unchant, say, my shovel, still 30. And then bam, she can put whatever the hell she wants in here. You can repair her name it too. Perfect. I present you bumble. Now, open back up. And she can go in there she can go in there anywhere anytime she pleases. <laughs> I guess this is a swimming pool now. That's what they're using it for. Um I think that's actually gonna do it for all. Unless I'm like missing something. Let me just remember the essentials here. Uh, she doesn't yet have her source of food, technically. She does seem to like her bread, though, so... One thing I'll do for her real quick... She seems, she seems like her little bakery that she has in one of our other worlds. I'll just do that for her really quick, or try. We're already on 35 minutes of recording time here, so... Editor Sean, do your magic. If you were getting money, you'd be earning your keep today, I can tell you that much. You know what? Yeah, have like a little kitchen area over here. Just to kind of accompany all that. Alright, there we go. Have a little like underforce sort of thing going on here. I'll just really, really quickly get in the essentials that she would need, which I just think. The campfire is nice to have around, but the smoker just works better. I'm gonna put both in anyway, because you never know what kind of wood she'll be in. Growing stand? Ah, yes, gotta get the coffee. Must hand the coffee. It should be in weapons? Yes, it is. I'm just gonna give her an awkward potion here. 
Oh, yeah, the campfire. Not right now, at least not until I... You know what? Campfire would be nice over here. Campfire. Am I even going in the right spot? I am. I don't think it matters if I put it up. How's it look in here? Oh god. It just aesthetically looks better. So technically it is, but it isn't doing the smoke. I think it does stop at the top, but I don't mind it much. Because it's technically put in as vented, so... No real flaw there. I have to say. Alright, um... Let me just go through everything and I think we're done here. Source of water. Check. Source of food. We got her a little comic book. A little place to chant all her little stuff and rename because I know she likes to name things. Check. A little pin for her creepers to stay happy and healthy. Oh, check. Bed. I think literally only one more thing to build her, and it's actually very simple. Holy fucking Jesus. Ladies, ladies and germs, I now give you the portal room. Jesus Christ, that is devastating. I know I'm not coming back out this end, but damn. Fuck it. This location. If I were to go into survival mode now, I would definitely die. Oh, yeah, because there's a gas rig up there. Assholes. Oh my. This is the first time in a while that when I went through a portal to the other side, I've come back on the side that I went through. Amazing! Anyways. I do believe that's going to be all for this time, but oh, what's this I have here? The words of worship. Forcing. By your side, I will stand. Two problems, I will guide you. When you grieve, I grieve with you. When you're happy, I'll dance with you. Through eternal life, I am with you. My sweet queen, one whole happy year with you kept me oh so keen. With you I want to spend eternity. We're so perfect in mind, body, soul, especially personality. None will ever trump you and the love you give, especially the feels closer to you. Or my lover, my support, and my best friend. And when I want to know it, I'm going to look it. With these words, I complete my one year anniversary present to my lady for life. Here's to many years to come. The rest of you. That's going to be it for this time, guys. Please be sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Please be sure to write a comment down below what you thought your favorite part of this video was. And also, comment down below, you know, if, if you want to, you can. Comment happy anniversary or congratulations or whatever you want to do. That'd be really nice. It'd be really cool. It'll show how you know my subs actually care about us. Oh my god, I like how I'm actually doing it. It's like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, this has actually been really fun. Um, I'm off to go record this now. This is gonna be a pain in the ass, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it especially for her. And Sarah, one last thing, I do hope you enjoyed this video, especially for you. And today, friends, 
and Sarah. Oh, my sweet Sarah. We shall end this video off by only simply my new song for you. In full form, no interruptions. I hope you enjoy it. Stay nice to your pilots. You know, everyone has that special someone in their life. This is for mine. feel that life can feel so real and you see she's for me when her love can feel so free i believe oh baby it's the ultra love <laughs> Oh baby, it's the ultra love. Oh baby, it's the it's when you feel Oh baby, it's the that Oh baby, it's the feel so Oh baby, it's the 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 can feel so free. I believe it's when you feel that life can feel so real and you see she's for me when her love can feel so free i believe That was for you, Sarah. Hope you liked it. Ultra love, ultra love, ultra love, ultra love, ultra love, ultra love.